Hello world, this is What's Up 2190 here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create your own iPhone ringtone using iTunes on both Mac. This will work for both for either Mac OS X or Windows. So the first step is for Windows users only, only um, that is to say only Windows users have to do this part. But what you're going to want to do is just go to File Explorer options like I have open here. And then click on view. Sorry, it might take me a minute to find it, but you want to make sure the one that says the one that says hide file names or something like that is unchecked. You want see that one up, up there that says uh that says uh hide extensions for known file file types. Well, thanks to a bit of a recording error, it took me, to, took me a minute to find it, but you want, you want to make sure that one is unchecked, and then click Apply. You'll see why we're doing this later in a minute. Then you just want to open iTunes, and yes, you have to be using iTunes to do this. And then select the song, import the song that you want to use into your library. And then right click on it, and then go to get info. And then we're check star and then start at starting at the second that you want it to start at, and then check stop at the second that you want it to stop at. So once and then you don't want it to be any longer than like twenty seconds or so because otherwise it won't complete for the iTunes the iPhone automatically moves it again. about this, I think I made a bit of a mistake here. Well, to make sure you both keep both of them checked, otherwise it's not going to do it correctly. And then that about, that did it right there. Dead. I'm going to I am playing it right now. Unfortunately, you can't hear it, but watch the timer and you'll see what I mean by the whole 20 seconds thing. I tried recording when I was playing, but unfortunately, my screen recording software doesn't allow me to do that, so it allow, didn't allow me to do that, so for some reason, sorry about that. It is good to maybe, if then you want to right click and go click. Create AAC version. This will create a separate version of the file, and then just search for that. And then just search for the name of the song on your computer. So if you're on Windows, go to Firefox, File Explorer, search, and search for it. If you're on a Mac, go to uh, Finder and search for it. Search for the name of the song. And then you want to make sure that you cho you choose the the version of the file that has .m4a. It's the file extension. And then what you want to do is you want to rename it to N4R. And this is a very important step to do because otherwise iTunes basically won't recognize it. So then you just want to import that N4R file into iTunes and iTunes should automatically put it in the ringtone section. Then you just want to... Um, it won't show up in the... Uh, tones doesn't show up in the search bar. Then what you want to do is you want... Sorry, it took me a minute to find it in this, this recording, but...
So what you want to do is you want to uh, click on this button up here and then go to Tones. And then you want to make sure that you have the ringtone in there selected. Then that's about it. After that, you want to plug your iPhone in. We're going to begin the sync process. Sync, and you have to sync it with your iTunes library to get the ringtone to show up. So switch over that. Then once you plug your iPhone in, you just want to click. You just want to click on the iPhone symbol on your screen, and click on tones, and then check sync tones. And I would suggest clicking all tones because that will sync all the ringtones you've created. Or if you want to take off certain ones or not put certain ones on there, just go to selected tones and then uncheck the ones you don't want. But I'm going to use all tones for this video. And then all you have to do is just sync your is just go down. And, and sync your iPhone with that I, with your iTunes library just by just well clicking the sync button and this will install that ringtone on your i onto your iPhone. Now it can be a bit wormy about like what file file name you want to um, it's putting on there and it, it comes up with like an error message and you sync it. What you can try doing is just try deleting it and then re-adding it or something or something like that. I had to do that a couple times and then it worked. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Then I'll s then add. And then once it's done syncing, all you have to do, well, we'll jump to that, to that part in a second. Still trying to get used to this new video editing software. And now, your, once you've synced it, your, your new ringtone should be on your iPhone. So what you want to do is you just want to go to settings on your iPhone, and then go to sounds, and then ringtone. And then your new ringtone should be on that list. Once you see it on there, you just select it. And then there's your new ringtone. There's the one I just made. <laughs> so that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is What's Up 2190, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe.